but in case you want to reach out to their admission department and there is an email id and the phone number uh, which will help you basically students to reach out them so in the, I, I will give the complete details about the different type of scholarships which are available but in case you still need to reach out to them please call on these numbers right so jo bola hai jo scholarship available hai are in different you know categories and they are all awarded by the governments right so if you see there are many type of scholars for different type of students so primarily mai jo cover karunga wo post matric scholarship for scsts fee reimbursement for scst fee concession for category 1 student category 2 student category 3 students and um, extra boarding and lodging allowance uh, you can get through cat for category 1 category 2 category 3 then there are lot of scholarship also available for defense scholarship and then there are certain msrit specific alumni scholarship right so if your student if your child is from the alumni Uh, son or daughter then there is a different type of scholarship so five to six categories you can see and the five to six category of people who are covered through this scholarship so this is very important for the students so this is the notification latest one from msrit for about the um, this scholarship and this, see this scholarship is available for both the students of ug and the pg programs so sc st minority defense category 1 category 2 category 3 and even the brahmin community right so brahm so it is available even for the brahmins so and these are eligible under the name of different names like a post matric scholarship fee reimbursement defense scholarship minority and so on but the minimum requirement to get to this is that you have to do e attestation so you have to create all your documents which is required and submit it to the e attestation officer and this e attestation officer is sitting in the same ms ramaya institute of technology since you are applying for that college and to understand all the scholarship there is also website ssp.postmatric.karnataka.gov and there is a government guideline but into the call college when you create your documents you ask the college about the documents and you create the document set then these are the people within ms ramaya these are the professors and the officers who are basically help you on e attestation so they will help you on e attestation there is a name right so uh, if you see the last column right it says branch allotted right so if you are looking for electronics ec ml machine learning mechanical biotechnology there are different type of you know, e attestation officer associated so if i am mba i will go to r kumar right I, if i am triple e i will go to sri venu so those are the people who will attest your uh, you know such scholarships right so an e attestation is very much important that is the point right and now every there are five six scholarships based on the income of the parents so the first scholarship if you see for the uh, ug pg both students and there can be sc st and for those students you know again this this is um, your parental income if it is less than 2 and a half lakhs then you are category 1 student right you are falling into serial number 1 right and then you have to do attestation as per the link which is here right similarly if you go for the to parents uh, whose salaries are uh, income is between 2 and a half to 5 lakhs then you are for applicable for not the scholarship but but the fee reimbursement so same link right now the third category is for the student parents whose parents are defense so in this only ke a quota right there will be no other quota so children of the defense personnel they can also get the same uh, you know scholarship available for them and the same link they have to follow website and get it e attested by attested officers list which i have given in the previous page so depending on your branch you have to get attestation from them fourth category is the minority category right which is uh, which has applied scholarship for the nas ns of nsp portal right which is national scholarship portal and they can apply for the also apply for the state state scholarship so minority people can apply for national scholarship state um, scholarship and their income should be under 2 and a half lakh rupees but the same process they have to also follow which is given in this government website as well as you have to do e attestation from the of all your documents from the same set of officers which i have mentioned earlier now the fifth type of scholarship which is basically for the category 1 category 2 and category 3 students right 
and this is the state scholarship so if you see income there is a different income limit for category 1 income should be less than parental income should be less than 2 and a half lakh but for the category 2 the parental um, category 2 and a category 3 the parental income should be less than 1 lakh right so that is the uh, minimum requirement and when if you are fulfilling as a category 1 category 2 category 3 students then you can again uh, you know get the documents e attested by the officer's name which i have given in the previous so this is the fifth and the last one is the brahmin community so even for the brahmins there is a scholarship in msrit and uh, same but uh, income parental income is now up to 8 lakhs so brahmin students whose father's income uh, parents income is less than 8 lakhs uh, can apply right and this is the parental income so total 8 lakhs should be incurred of their both the parents put together so and the and the previous one the category 1 category 2 category 3 which i mentioned are also the parental income right so put together parents should be earning less than two and a half lakhs and this. so students you have seen there are a lot of scholarship available for sc st or you know category 1 category 2 and all the type of students which you can avail right so please uh, uh, you know understand this clearly and if you, in case you have a doubt please do ask me a question thank you for watching this and please do subscribe and like this video and subscribe to the channel